Hi, my name is uh, Dublin McAllister, and uh, my friends call me Kyle, but you can call me Kyle too. Um, I'm a rock collector. I have been since I was uh, eight. Well, I got into it hardcore when I was nine and a half, after my dad got me a rock collection. Uh, I got it for my Cub Scout troop. It's a great big rock collection. It's basically all quartz and uh, some, some crappy you know, limestone and stuff. None of the real stuff that sells for like a lot of money on eBay. So the reason why I'm at a drift event is because if you look at the tread of a, of a tire, a lot of times they'll pick up gravel. And uh, cars go everywhere. And they drive all over the planet. So you'll find rocks in the tread that you won't find you know, in, anywhere else. I look for out-of-state plates and I normally go for there. It's really tiring work too. Uh, my, my day job right now is um, working at the gift shop at the uh, Natural History Museum, uh, but I'm quitting there because those they just don't know anything at all. I have a goal. Uh, there's a company, um, I was actually a part of one of their subsidiary companies, um, ROC, uh, which stands for Recreational Object Collecting, and uh, they're like the father, and they have a lot of s sub um, companies that really get into specific, and I really want to be uh, a charter member of my division, my region of GREAT, which stands for uh, Geological um, Recreation, Recreational um, Excavation of All Terrain. Uh, it's a great company to be a part of, and they've done a lot of great work in terms of, of uh, relocating um, just you know specimens that have fossils and specimens that would be ground into you know playground filler uh, by the developers if it weren't for this company. So I'm like I, I love I love their work a lot. We used uh, rock just like this in uh, my high school club I started um, called the Rock and Rollers. Uh, we had a lot of musicians join our club and then quit once they realized that our main focus was on the geological study of, of Earth. Uh, I even missed my prom because uh, I heard a rumor that there was a, uh, a really rare sedimentary rock that had the line of ash that the comet left when it killed the dinosaurs. It was uh, up, up in Newberry Park where they have a rock quarry and I totally ditched her, you know, because when you find something in your life that you're passionate about, you just make it work. Right here, one of the more common hazards is uh, petrified uh, fecal matter. This is uh, a good example of what to be careful for. The U-shaped there, and there's some more bits of that. Uh, probably some rodent. Um, there's really not a lot of houses. I don't think it's a dog, but you know, I mean, if, if this is a really great rock, I mean, a really great rock, and it's right there, you just want to weigh your options. If you've had a rock, nestled against a solid piece of poo for a good 10 years, no doubt some of the molecules have tainted the composition and, you know, it's, it's, it's just like a skeleton in the closet, but um, I'm, I'm really honest, you know, I have, a, I have some great stuff that's pooped and I, don't want, I, don't, I won't sell it, nobody will buy it. I could lie, if, you know, if I ever get to that point financially where I need to lie to pay rent, I'll do it. Can we edit that out? Because rocks are solid, and I think if I had to personify myself, it, I would be, uh, uh, I would definitely be a, a really solid piece of granite. Um, one of those smooth, polished paperweight granites with uh, a bit of, um, I don't know, some, some deep word, like integrity or, or something. That's what I'd be.